Excitingly, here's where it all started. Eighteen thirty-one. Yeah, it started out as a as a hardware shop selling um, uh, also screws, but pans and mouse traps and all kinds of hardware. So in two thousand thirty-one, it's going to be two hundred years. That's why we always talk about the strategy two hundred, and um, it started as a local business. Very small uh, family shop. Uh, over hundred years stayed like that, and then developed into uh, selling fasteners to the Swiss craftsmen. And then only in the 70s, 80s, we, we truly became global and we expanded, becoming from like 50 people to suddenly 1,200 people. In my opinion, the um, family history is a very crucial point um, that defines the whole Bossard culture. All the family members, especially here in Zug, were very um, approachable and kind of open-minded and you had um, the opportunity to talk to them as if they were any colleague. Here is how the guiding principles manifest in the present culture. In my point of view, it, it has always had extremely good values, uh, good people. I think, I don't know if you say that in English, but in, in German we would say everyone has its heart at the, at the right spot, right? But I think we, 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 we adapted to kind of got more agile, working with more tools, maybe a little bit fast. But I think like the fundamental values, uh, and I think also that's a good thing, that's like, that, that's part of the, yeah, of, of, the, of the structure and, and it remains the way it is and that's great. But this is this great story, I, I really like it, is that when I talk to Tibin, Tibin uh, is the head of services, basically. He's being Asian in Switzerland, I, 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 I was, it, for me it was like, a, was it easy to, to integrate? And the Swiss is not known for being the most open culture. And so having his perspective, we discussed and me being Swiss and going abroad in different countries, you know, like looking back, what is the, the, the perks of, of, of the Swiss culture? And some cultures are like a peach, you know, like it's easy to have a bite in it. And uh, the, we said the Swiss is like a coconut, really hard to crack. But once you crack it, you know, like you've got like 120% support and it's like family and, uh, but it's not so hard to get in, right? It's, and, and, and so we didn't find, we didn't find <laughs> the perfect fruit, <laughs> but I think that the, 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 the merge in between is, is the beauty, right? That you have an open culture. Well, this is, Bossart, Bossart with uh, more than 190 years of uh, legacy, with uh, 32 uh, locations globally. Um, and I believe we have a unique value proposition that we can offer to our OEM industrial customers. But the biggest value, I believe, is the people we have in the organization from those 32 locations who contribute day by day and collaborate globally so we can make Bossart a success also into the future. So I'd like to invite you to look at Bossard and its different business units and the people behind that and see, you know, who are they, what do they do and how do they contribute to the Bossard success in a different way, in a different country, within a different culture, but in the end contributing to the success of Bossard. So welcome to Bossard. This may be where the company started, but the roots continue to grow and deepen. And I would like to thank everyone that was in this video.